Hey everybody, it's the 7th of September 2016 <clears throat> and it is video number 3 for this afternoon um, and this is a VR to Pottsville Piper, James. He asks um, to share some of our the smaller things in life which um, give us enjoyment and will make life interesting. Um, I think that's what he wants. So um, I didn't want to uh, really say the obvious things like uh, family and health and smoking a pipe um, but the little things in life things which are unusual things which tickle our fancy if you like so I had to think and I've come up with a few eclectic different diverse ideas which some might find a little bit uh, quirky but um, they're just a bit of fun so the first thing um, I would say is one of the great joys in life is overcoming adversity. Now, um, okay, we're supposed to be talking about little things, but for me, it's not the type of thing that happens every day, um, and it's it's for me, you know, this it's something which I really take a lot of pleasure in. And I'll give you an example. Obviously, overcoming adversity, life generally, is one long journey of overcoming adversity and it's not necessarily a negative experience it could be positive um, adversities it's it's overcoming challenges um, but sometimes they're good and sometimes they're they're not so uh, good really um, but uh, a particular one which I really take a huge amount of joy from is appealing parking tickets in our lives generally we all um, have things which we try to avoid paying whether it's a tax bill or whether it's a customs and excise um, I shall say no more on that one um, but overcoming adversity for me when I ever I get a parking ticket and thankfully it's not as often as it used to be when I was younger I just completely disregarded parking regulations and um, I whenever I parked in a, in a, in a bay I never paid uh, the parking thing and, and every so often I'd get a ticket and sometimes I'd pay them, sometimes I wouldn't and it, it would escalate, it would cost me a fortune and it got ridiculous and with age you mature a bit and I just make sure to pay every time but on the rare occasion that I do get one it's usually because I've taken either a calculated risk or I've genuinely forgotten when I say calculated risk sometimes I'll park on a yellow line um, which the line has been uh, dulled over time so you can't really see the yellow line um, or um, it might just be um, that uh, uh, the sign was blocked something technical and if I get a ticket on such an occasion I will always appeal it and I would say that I've got a very high success rating I don't win it every time and if I don't win it I'll pay it but uh, generally speaking if you appeal and you've got grounds for appeal you generally will win your appeal um, even if the grounds are a little bit tenuous as long as there's some room for benefit of doubt generally speaking you will get it I even had that in um, in a hospital grounds once which I was there for genuine reasons and I parked in a in a, in a bay which I thought was perfectly legal to park in um, and I appealed it and I lost it and I went to the ombudsman I took it all the way and eventually I won it and to me that was a great joy in life I really enjoy um, that kind of overcoming of adversity so that's uh, one particular little joy in life um, and I think um, in a similar vein but on a, on, a, on a different angle if you like it's just accomplishment a feeling of accomplishment um, one of the, d doing something which is kind of alien to you but yet you decide you know what, I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna go for it give it my best shot and if it works it's a great feeling if you if you accomplish something a little example is um, which is smoking related is um, a pipe you will if you've been following my channel you'll have seen I've, I've had a couple of, of attempts at carving a pipe the first attempt was pretty rank um, which was the result of, of well a pipe which started off like this ended up like this with a lot of damage on it and not particularly great uh, looking pipe smokes very well but it's just not a great pipe to look at and then the second attempt was was that which was a great improvement still not perfect still a long way to go but you know certainly a great improvement um, so again that kind of thing which something which I wouldn't normally have ever 
dreamed of undertaking and then doing it and achieving it for me that's a great great feeling I'm not a, um, a builder or a constructor or anything like that but I often turn my hand to doing a repair at home the other day I had a problem with my uh, heating system and I, I was going through all the wiring all the cabling checking everything out just to see if I could narrow it down and I managed to find out a fuse that was blowing which was tangled in a whole spaghetti junction of cabling and that was a great feeling so that's um, another uh, joy in life is just accomplishment um, especially in in, un in uncharted territory things that you wouldn't have necessarily done um, another particular joy that I have is enlightening others um, and to give an example of that again smoking related is you know when you share your eureka moment on a particular blend or a particular cigar um, and you think wow I've got to share this other people have to enjoy this and then you see other people taking note of, of your recommendation and enjoying it similarly that's also a great joy um, and I really really enjoy um, going on that journey of discovery and then sharing it and watching others going on a similar journey of discovery it's a it's a it's a feeling of empowerment to an extent it's a feeling of um, uh, um, sort of valuation you know people taking you into consideration which is a very important thing in life you know it might sound a little bit conceited but um, it doesn't come from that it doesn't stem from being conceited it stems from giving yourself some purpose and being proud of something that you've done and learnt and then shared with other people so I think that's important and that's a great joy in life um, another one completely also smoking related but completely different a real joy for me is after having a nice enjoyable wholesome meal sitting back and enjoying a smoke whether it's a pipe or a cigar that's got an special um, it might seem quite normal for a lot of people who are smoking but um, I smoke at all different times of day especially when I'm driving so I don't always get a chance to sit down after a meal and that for me is a really special moment when you're really satiated and um, sated rather and you're, you know, you've got a really f good feeling of contentment and then you enjoy a nice cigar or a pipe that's just you know another fantastic joy in life um, another joy in life which makes tickles me which is going to come across as completely nuts is one of these a very simple tool but I would do I wouldn't go anywhere without them they're fantastic <laughs> um, it sounds a bit mindless but I, I just think these are fantastic inventions I've got various different kinds of keyrings but a keyring which means that you don't have to have stuff um, weighing your pockets down is a fantastic joy of life so there we have it Mr Pottsville Piper really enjoy your channel I've enjoyed watching your journey um, which really charts a similar journey to what I was doing as you've mentioned yourself on your channel um, a good few months ago uh, it's coming on to a year now and um, and I can see where you're going and I think it's fantastic I mean really enjoying watching you buying a, your diverse range of pipes and tobaccos and discovery it, it's it's really great to see and um, I'm uh, especially delighted that as you've mentioned yourself that uh, that Paul's pipe has gone to a good home I hope you're enjoying it um, and um, I wish you great success on your channel I'm sure you'll get plenty more followers your content is uh, interesting and um, yeah congratulations on the subs and uh, good luck on the giveaway and um, I shall catch you on the next one